Welcome back. Um, we are in the gym today doing a workout. We've got a new strength and conditioning routine that I'm going to be working on, so we'll get that done. Um, all in line with building to next year's Ironman. Supposed to do a half marathon on Sunday, the event was cancelled. Supposed to do, go to the swim cube and do some stuff, film for the blog, do some technique stuff. I was sick, I've just recovered from my man flu, just about getting there. Still a bit congested, but my energy is much, much better. Oh, people don't know how bad it can be. Man flu is real, but we had to crack on. Unfortunately, didn't get an awful lot of training done. Had about six days where I didn't train at all. Very frustrating, definitely a setback. Um, looking at my fitness when I've gone back out and trained, there's definitely been a dip, but I'm still, still recovering. So give it a couple of weeks, we'll see where we are in terms of that. Um, thanks for joining us, let's get on with the workout. So I'm just getting my head around this new program. Um, it's looking pretty good to be fair. But for anyone who doesn't do strength and conditioning, if they're doing triathlon or any sport, um, it's honestly one of the best investments you could ever make in your performance, injury prevention. Um, and in terms of performance, we're talking speed, power, efficiency and endurance. Um, but yeah, for me, the big thing is having that robustness to not fall apart later on in an event. So super, super important. Um, it's worth the two half an hour, 45 minute hour sessions, whatever you end up doing a week. Um, it will pay massively, pay dividends even. Um, so if you're not doing it, 100% get onto it. And as you can see, slowly we're getting a little bit more load on the bar. Soon we'll be back to you know, triple figures on, on the squat. Not yet though. Soon it's coming. my little week off, or six days off. I managed to get myself a little bit tubby as well. Chocolate <laughs> was the food of choice, whilst not being able to train. 
done a little bit of popcorn as well, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know why Mrs. Ford would be a good idea to stock up on chocolate. <laughs> Especially when I'm not doing much training. But she did. So we managed to get a good couple of chocolate binges in. It makes me get excited about Christmas and Easter. Not that I'm particularly religious, religious even, even though I went to a Catholic school, but would we get a chocolate? Would we get a Christmas even? Chocolate, Christmas? See, it's the same thing. <laughs> and would we get an Easter? Easter eggs, mate, Easter eggs. Hmm. Galaxy is my favorite, in case anyone was wondering. Let's get on with it. That's a wrap. To be honest, that was a nice little, nice little workout. It's not going to take too much out of me, which is good. Um, good mix of strength, um, some balance stuff, um, some rotational, both anti-rotation and and rotational force development stuff. Um, yeah, I can see how that's going to be beneficial for triathlon, definitely. Um, yeah, enjoyed that one. Really good workout. Plenty more of them to come. Got a nice build now. I'm in, I know I've been saying it before, but I'm in the actual official, official, official build now to Ironman. Um, all of my training is very, very focused now to next year. We have, what day are we on? November. We have less than eight months. Less than eight months to go. It's going to come around quick. Um, we are going to kick off in a few weeks time with our new season of that's going to count down to Ironman. In between now and then we've got a few bits and pieces that we're going to cover on the blog. Then we're going to get super focused, get some good workouts in, build. After Christmas we'll lose some of the, some of the timber, but before then we'll stay nice and heavy because being heavier is free training when you're out running, get the tissues <laughs> nice and conditioned. Thanks for joining me. Um, be sure to follow along next time. We'll catch you here on the blog. See you then.